How's it going YouTube? Chris here in my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. I uh, just want a quick little video on a, on a movie that I watched this week. I uh, bought it last week. I tried a couple times to, to watch this movie and I really honestly, I must have just had a lot on my mind. I just couldn't get into it. So I watched it, uh, I think Sunday and uh, st still not too sure about the movie. But I just want to talk about it a little bit, and it's the uh, Christopher Nolan film, Tenet. This is the 4K release of this movie. And uh, I know uh, Christopher Nolan is known for not wanting immersive audio. Uh, so as many of you know, this movie does not have a Dolby Atmos soundtrack or a DTSX soundtrack. It's basically just a like a DTS. Uh, actually, it's a... Yeah, DTS HD Master track. And, uh, but what I want to talk about this particular movie is, man, if you want to give your system a workout, you know, you need to pick up this movie and uh, put it in. <clears throat> it, it, don't, it don't matter about how, 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 how the movie is. Yeah, it was really hard for me to follow. I understood it, but it was still hard to follow. Uh, the video quality of this film is, is actually amazing. I, I really like how they shot the movie. A lot of people don't like the, uh, the IMAX shots. I know Christopher Nolan, he is known with all his movies, he'll he'll do a, a wide screen and then he'll do a full screen and IMAX shots. I really like that. I have a 16 to nine screen, so it don't really affect me much. But I know some of you guys that have a 235 to one and it switches formats back and forth. I know that may be kind of aggravating, but I really like that. So as far as the picture quality of this film, it is, it is amazing. And I really like that. Uh, I would like to have, have heard immersive audio in this. <clears throat> the, the beef that I have with this, and I think so many other people have with it also, is the, is the, uh, the dialogue. It's really hard to understand a lot of times, especially here in my system. My system is bass heavy. And that's what I want to really talk about in, in this video. But I, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the dialogue a lot of times is hard to understand. Uh, a lot of times they have masks on, a lot of times the soundtrack, uh, the music or what's going on, it just kind of overtakes the, the dialogue. And uh, I know I heard that uh, in, the, in the short theatrical release when they released it in the movies. I know that was one of the complaints that people had. And uh, I would have figured that maybe they could have went back and fixed that when they done the disc release but they did not so that was one of my one of my few complaints about this film is the dialogue some a lot of times it was, it was hard to hear but what i want to talk about is bass this <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something whether you like the movie or not if you want to put your system to the test if you got massive subwoofers or any kind of subwoofers hey stick this movie in and I am telling you, this movie will rock your house. Now, my system is loud. You know, everybody knows I got those uh, Emotiva XPRs. Uh, they're 600 watts times two, 1,000 watts times one in the four arms, or times two in the, in the, in the, in the four arms. And uh, they're powering my front stage. I got one channel power in one of my dual 18s. I got the other dual 18s with about a 2,000 watt amp on them. I got, so I got, four 18s and I got four clips, 12 inch subs. My my system is bass heavy. And I'm telling you something, by the time this movie got over with, I had a headache. And it was loud, it was powerful, and but it shook the house. I mean, it rocked everything. It knocked stuff off the wall. And I was, I was really impressed with that. And that's kind of what drew me into it. I, I like a lot of bass. And uh, I know a lot of people, they're, some of their go-to movies for bass would be like uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is a, is a, is a pretty fantastic movie. And, there, and there's some other ones, but I'm telling you, this tenant, it is bass heavy in my opinion. And uh, if you really want to show off your system, I'm you, guys, pick up this movie, just put it in. Whether you like the movie or not, uh, this movie almost, as far as me liking this movie, I'm a Christopher Nolan fan. I really like his films. Uh, but this movie almost falls uh, with the last Fantastic Four movie. But I have not been able to watch that Fantastic Four. I've not been able to watch that movie all the way through. I just, I can't. I've tried. 
I have it on Blu-ray. I ain't even bought it on 4K. I've tried watching on, uh, I think Disney Plus or on somewhere I've seen it on on stream. I, I just I cannot watch it through. But I I did try on the third attempt. I watched this all the way through, and uh, it it's a decent film. Maybe I will watch it again. I might like it. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, if you want to put your system to the test. If you want to put your subwoofers through the test, buy this movie, put it in, and set back. You better get you some earplugs or turn your system down because it is going to rock the house. I was impressed with that part of it. I wish they would have did something to the dialogue. Uh, it would have been nice to see Christopher Nolan do an immersive audio, but I, he, I don't know why he's against that. That's what everybody wants these days. But but anyway, guys, that, that that's, that's my take on this film. I particularly... It's, it's not it's not a favorite of mine it's probably one one of my least favorites but i really like it it's, it's it has a beautiful picture it is fantastic christopher nolan he makes good looking films as far as picture quality uh the sound is really good except the dialogue but uh, it's bass heavy so if you want to test your system out you got somebody to come over and say let me let me, let me put this movie in hey put this in let it let them see it let them hear it. I'm telling you, it, it, it's impressive from that from that standpoint. But uh, like I say, I, I wanted to get another little quick video in uh, before the holidays. May even try to get another one in this week or the weekend. Or and I know I'll try to get some in next week. I'm just trying to get back in in, in the swing of things, guys. And uh, and I <clears throat> want to thank everybody for uh, the comments on my last video. Just you know, like I said, I got a lot going on. Just won't won't, won't get into it. Uh, maybe at a later date, I'll kind of let everybody know what's going on. But uh, I just want to thank everybody for, for all the positive comments and, and uh, just, you know, welcoming me back. You know, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, but, guys, we are at 965 subscribers. Don't need 35 more. Uh, I'm still going to try to give away something. I just don't know if that's feasible. I mean, I, I'll, I'll figure something out to do to try to, We'll, we'll try to do something on this uh, thousand subscribers. Like I said, I got a lot going on. And uh, I mean, if you want to message me on Facebook or on my Instagram, you know, it's down in the description below. Uh, but I, I, I won't share things out in the public, but I will let you know what's going on to the best of my ability. I just want to be private on some things. But guys, thank y'all for, for, uh, for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you again here real soon.